Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest edition, the first of the Tri-5 Chevys. We got a 55 Chevy Bel Air two-door hardtop resto mod. Give you all the details in a moment. <music> Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest acquisition, and boy is it a nice one. A 1955 Chevy Bel Air two-door hardtop resto mod. Now the term resto mod is kind of an interesting one. You'll have to watch this entire video from start to finish because we're going to give you some of the details and whatever that we make this into what we call the resto mod. You can also click on the link in the description and it'll take you right to our website giving you all the information on the car, pricing, and it'll give you access to our current inventory which is over 100 classic and collectible vehicles at this time ranging from cars in the 1920s all the way up into the 1970s and beyond. So if you're looking for a classic car or whatever, chances are it's probably sitting on the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars right here in Rogers. And remember our website address being www.ellingsonmotorcars.com. Well, let's get into the details of this really, really iconic American automobile. Of course, 1955 was a big year for Chevrolet. Complete style change. I mean, it was way more upgraded, modern. I mean, you got the little things over the headlights and the chrome. Everything was just a vast improvement. Perhaps the biggest improvement, of course, was the introduction of the V8 in 1955, and that was the 265 V8. And I'll tell you what, it's changed the way everyone looked at Chevrolet moving forward. And it also, they were also 12 volt at that time. Another big improvement as far as I'm concerned with any of this old car stuff. Well, this particular car, being it's uh, called a Restomont, does not necessarily have its original drivetrain. It does have a turbo, a 300, 350 Chevy V8 with a turbo 350 transmission. Perhaps a little more drivable, if you will. Not that a car in 1955 wasn't good to drive across country, but with today's modern age, this is just a very, very nice combination for someone who really wants to get in one of these cars and drive. Now look at this color combination. You've got the gypsy red with a shoreline beige top, whatever. Very true colors for 1955. I just love the two-tone effect. And they make sure to tell you that it is a Bel Air because the Bel Air had, that was the high end for Chevrolet. Beautiful interiors, a lot of extra chrome. And of course, it says right on the side, Bel Air. Make sure to let you know when you pull up that, ooh, that's something to be contended with or is a really, really nice car. Love the one piece front bumper, California bumper with one piece. And of course, the hood bird is always cool. As a kid, that was one of my absolute favorite things on these old cars because it always looked like you were flying down the road when you're looking out the dash, whatever. Now, there's some other uh, upgrades on this car besides the uh, drivetrain. It does have power, power disc brakes. And, of course, take a look. I mean, those are really special Riddler rims. Really, really nice aftermarket rims. And, of course, radial tires. Radial tires is probably the biggest improvement in all this old car world, if you know what I mean, in terms of drivability, comfort. So it just rides better. Everything about it is just really made the biggest improvement, as far as I'm concerned, compared to the old bias tires that they came with when they were new. Uh, let's take a look at the rest of this car, the interior. Very, very nice. Original steering wheel. I like that with the original dash. It's kind of an odd one. Remember that the speedometer goes up to 110 miles an hour rather than 120, which is kind of one of those things you go, oh, yeah, I forgot that. And, of course, the 55 Chevy with the aluminum trim and the dash is all the bow, bow tie. So you can instantly look in and go, oh, yeah, it's 55 Chevy. Uh, other than that, yes, it's uh, like I say, it's an automatic, so anyone can probably jump in this car and drive it. Beautiful interior, beautiful red carpet, red and white vinyl interior. 
Someone has also added seat belts in the front as well. Just a nice thing that we do, you know, in this day and age, we kind of get used to it. I, my friend's wife, she wouldn't let the kids ride in any of my old cars if they didn't have seat belts. So, you know, probably one of those things that's nice to have. Someone's already done it. And of course, they had the vent windows, which for me was one of my favorite things because it kept the cigarette smoke out of us kids in the back seat when mom and dad were, you know, a lot of people smoked back in the 50s and 60s and whatnot. Taking a look at the inside as well, it has an original AM radio and an aftermarket stereo underneath as well. So you have, you know, you can listen to all your favorite tunes. And it does have two gauges because in 1955 they would have, quote unquote, the idiot lights, whereas this has an oil pressure and temperature gauge. So you can keep closer tabs on what your engine is doing. Dual exhaust out the back as well. And remember, if you got a couple of sets of golf clubs, you need a car like this because you can fit them in the trunk. Lots and lots of room in the trunk. Now you can find all our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. You know, give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe. We appreciate it very much, and it'll get you all the information on this car, our current inventory, and you can see some of the cars we've sold over the last several years as well. Sometimes if you got looking on the internet, whatever, take a look at those sites. You'll probably find something to enjoy just looking at all the different kinds of cars Ellingson's has had over the years. Now you can also pick up the phone, give me a call, 763-428-7337, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have on the car in terms of the car itself. Uh, we can help with financing, and we can help with shipping, all those things we can handle with a phone call. And our hours are Monday through Friday from 10 to 5, and Saturdays 10 to 4. So those of you who say, love your website, love the videos, but I want to come in person, we welcome you with open arms to come and take a look at our cars in person. It's probably one of those good things to do. Make sure, number one, you fit. <clears throat> Sometimes we have a little more uh, space concerns than I had back when I was uh, 16. But yeah, we are certainly more than happy to have you come down and to take a look in person. So, you know, if you're looking for that resto mod, remember that doesn't mean it looks very stock other than wheels and tires in most cases but a little bit more performance, a little bit more whatever under the hood and whatever. So if you're looking for your first car or your 100th and you want that Tri-5 Chevy, I mean, that, that is by far one of the most sought after models in the world right there is a 55 Bel Air two-door hardtop. Come on down to Ellingson's and we'll show you around. Well, thank you again for watching our uh, video and make sure to check out our website at ellingsonmotorcars.com and we'll show you all the stuff we currently have. Have a good one. See you next time.